This is day nine of the test drive, and I know that you're on your way to the next level. Let's look at Proverbs 13, verse 20, and it reads, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Now let me ask you a question. Who are you running with? Who are your friends? The scripture shows us here that if you run with wise men, you'll be wise. That even implies that if you weren't wise to begin with, just hanging around other people that are wise can make you wise. The people that you do life together with are having and will have a major impact on your future. So it's very important that you pay attention to who your friends are. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33 reads, Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. The word communications here is also translated as companionship. So you could say it this way, evil companionships or evil friendships corrupt good manners. If you're running with people who don't go God's way or who refuse to admit that there even is a God, don't believe that that won't affect you. It absolutely does, and it will. Not only can ungodly or foolish people keep you away from following in the ways of God and drive your heart away from him, they cannot help you to fulfill the plan that God has for you. So let me encourage you today, evaluate who it is that's in your circle, who you're running with. And if you have people in your circle who aren't going God's way, make a decision that you're going to change today. Make a decision that you're going to cut those ties and that you're going to believe God for godly friends that will help you to fulfill the plan and the future that God has for your life.